right, guys, so at long last, here we have the Atlas Minx, a 19-layer dodecahedron, the largest Minx puzzle ever built. <laughs> the turning on this puzzle um, is a very mixed bag. Sometimes the turning is buttery smooth and you can move it with like one finger. Um, and there's like, it's, it's very, it's very little friction, remarkably little friction. Unfortunately, it's also catchy. So you have a turn and then it'll get interrupted. It's also incredibly loud. The outer layer is unfortunately probably the worst layer in terms of turning, it's the most catchy. It still gets the job done. There we go. The other layers are a little nicer. Like with a lot of puzzles of this size, alignment is of course going to be a little bit of a problem. So once a turn is made, it takes a little bit of wiggling in order to get another turn going, but it's not too bad. At 4,863 moving parts, the scale of this puzzle is difficult to put into words. If you're to take a 7x7 and stack it on top of a 9x9, then stack that on top of a Petaminx, the resulting stack still comes up short next to the Atlas Minx. Overall, I'm quite happy with how this project turned out. The puzzle definitely um, has some flaws, but that's to be expected with a, a first prototype. It was a lot of fun to come back to puzzle building after having not done so for a few years. Um, it was refreshing to, to come back and, and look at these problems with a, a fresh set of eyes. There was a lot of uh, ideas that I had with this puzzle that um, made it overall so much more of an enjoyable experience, both to design, build, and assemble than the uh, 22 by 22. This puzzle, despite having almost twice as many pieces, actually took uh, significantly less time. Uh, I believe all, all in all, this puzzle took less than 100 hours to make. Desktop printers have come a long way in the six years since I made my last big puzzle. And I really look forward to coming back in a few more years and seeing what I can do with them in the future. But for now, this has been the Atlas Minx. Thank you very much for watching.